In this presentation, we will see version 2.0 of inserting the data at the beginning of the linked list. So let's get started. Here this main function is similar to the main function which we have already seen in the previous lectures. You know that this block of code will create the linked list which consists of two nodes. These two nodes where the head pointer is pointing to the first node of the list. After that we have this line of code that is head equal to add back head comma data. From the previous presentation, we have learned that this is passed by value and not passed by reference. So it should be well noted that we can't replace this line of code by this line of code. There is one change required over here. Instead of passing head, we can pass the address of head in order to make changes. If we really don't want to return the head from the function, then this change is required. Okay, we need to pass the address of head. Let us suppose that the address of this head is 600. So instead of passing, this address 1000 which is the address of the first node of the list we will pass the address of the head that is 600 which is the address of this head pointer so here we need to put this ampersand in front of head now in the add back function we will make this change over here that is we will replace struct node star head by struct node star star head we will make this a double pointer that is a pointer to a pointer which means we need another pointer which is a pointer to some other pointer because we want to update this head which is the head of the main function that is why another pointer is required to store the address of this head with the help of this pointer which is local to this function we would be able to make changes in the head of the main function because we have the address of this particular pointer head this head is local to this function and this head is of the main function we will make changes in this head okay now we know that this block of code will create a node for us and then after that ptr link equals to star head will make the updation over here that is it will update the link part of this node we know that this is ptr link equal to star head instead of ptr link equal to head here this must be star head because here the head contains this address 600 here we want to store this address 1000 that is the address of the first node of the list we can do this by dereferencing the head here after dereferencing this head we will get inside this pointer that is we will get this address 1000 we will store that in the link part of this node after this we will update this head pointer by putting star in front of this head we know that head is local to this function which contains this address 600 we get inside that address and access this address 1000 so here we will update this particular pointer by ptr that is 3000 so here this will get updated by 3000 and this is the process we have to follow here the head of the main function will get updated and not the head of the add back function we should understand this point very carefully this head that is the head of the main function will get updated so in the main function the head will get updated and you can see this clearly this head is pointing to the first node that is this node of the list so now we have head pointer which is the updated head pointer in the main function which is pointing to the first node of the linked list right after that of course ptr will get updated and then because of this block of code we would be able to print this output 345 and 98 on the screen okay friends this is it for now thank you for watching this presentation